Hello, I'm Joe Pin and welcome to Thronefall where we've just had a rebalancing update and there's a bunch of twiddles and tweaks, uh, a lot to go over, the Eternal Trial has had some changes, uh, the towers have also had some changes so I believe now the level 2 towers are more powerful than they used to be and then when it, sa it says when you get to level 3 you can synergize the level 3 upgrade with the level 2 upgrade and some of the examples it gives is do you want an armored tower with hot oil or do you want a healing sniper tower so that sounds very interesting i'm kind of curious on that one uh, there's also been a change to the eternal trial as i said and now as you can see it tells you the expected waves and also the starting money i'm assuming one to five is the amount of waves we're going to get hmm, not too sure on that one uh, but you can see what is coming in so hmm we're going to do some eternal trial i'm not sure which one we're going to go for probably that one and then also if you don't like say this one you can get rid of it and not take that perk uh, whereas before you were forced to eventually take all of the perks uh, so for instance the glass cannon that i so disliked we won't need to take that anymore which would be really good um i think we'll probably go with this one yeah it's a lot of those wooden knights uh, we do have the book and uh, that's interesting okay and then we get the farms and we also get castle fortifications so that is a little bit more powerful the castle itself uh, so let's kind of go and do this and if you don't know what this game is uh, this is a city building tower defense game where we have to kind of defend our castle from nightly attacks we've got a limited amount of gold in the corner but we can put down buildings to give us money and buff up our economy and ooh, oh look there's a circle around that tells you how the distance it shoots oh that's really handy oh that's a nice change i like that so you can actually see oh yeah the tower's got it as well interesting um so yeah that is five waves and then oh is that telling me how much money i'm gonna make from the enemies it's like three coins interesting um i think I'm, yeah i think we'll make our money back if we do that it's not the best but we'll go with it and then we'll go with that and then i'm gonna put down a tower i think as well i don't know which way the next waves are coming though uh, but if we do know i guess what i should do is screenshot it really but never mind and uh, then you could kind of know what was coming in the next wave and plan but i guess you don't know which way they're coming from still so still some mystery there uh, but let's go and then it's said as well that the game this uh, sort of eternal trial is going to be a lot tougher uh, so let's use that we've got an active uh, we've got this spell book and we'll just kind of do that let's just see if we can get you hooked up as well let me get both of those there we go that's good uh but yeah it says like you know you're not gonna have an eternal trial that lasts 15 hours or something now um it's gonna be a lot quicker and so you know the first few ways were generally a walk in the park yeah we did get three gold from that as well interesting okay so we got more troops coming from that way and that way so we got four i think i'm going to put some archers down just kind of help that out um yeah, I'm going to go fire archers, I think, because it's mostly these guys. And then there was a battering ram, if I remember rightly, coming in. So, yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, that should work. Let's go for this. Um, yeah, let's do this. Let's go there. Let's kind of get those two, and then we can fire that both off. That's definitely something we want. To be doing, and we kind of want to drive them through the fire if we can as well do that yeah there we go let's just kind of dent you in the fire there we go <laughs> sweet and then yeah that's going to pay off it's mm, it's kind of borderline actually no we've got no farms have we yeah no never mind uh right well i think ooh, ooh, those are the tunneling ones aren't they hmm can attempt to put a tower in here just in case they attack and then we've got two that side hmm i think i'm going to come over here though kind of place you about there because those guys are the tunnelers those two archers down there and then yeah we should be able to deal with that and then we've got five left i think we kind of go for that still got a few nights left let's try and get some economy going shall we 
put some houses in. Well, that's actually it's probably not going to pay for itself, but never mind. Let's fire that off. I'm kind of curious to know what the other guys are going to do. Are they just going to teleport straight in on our castle? That's the question. Um, so yeah, we have to defend the castle. If we lose the castle, then it's game over. Obviously, we don't want to lose any of the buildings if we can help it, because... Um, you know, that'll take down our money at the end of the day. So if we lost the harbour, it's kind of where our economy is. So, ooh. All right, there we go. Decent amount of money as well. And then it tells you, yes, we're getting 12. Okay. It's kind of cool. I like that. It tells you how much uh, money you're going to get. All right, let's put you there. It's all good. I think I'm going to upgrade the castle. Let's upgrade the castle. To be honest, uh, ooh, 105 percent attack output. Uh, if you manage to use your active ability, that's gone up five percent, hasn't it? Because sworn it was a hundred last time. Don't think I really want that. There's some slightly better descriptions as well. Self healing. Oh, 100 percent self healing for your character. Oh, that's new. It was just the health last time. And you deal. Uh, damage back uh, to you uh, take 2.75 damage okay yeah they've changed those slightly I might just up my damage and health so I think the rest of it isn't really worth it there let's do that that's fine just I'll be hitting a bit harder that's good I'm gonna patch you guys in there And then, yeah, the battering ram's coming in, but the fire archers are kind of specialists at taking those out. Just try and tag everyone with an explosion. There we go. That's good. Just kind of let you guys get toasted and ride around in that fire. There you go. Enjoy. <laughs> right. And everyone is coming from that side again. I do think... Well, we're not going to put it in yet, but we could put some extra stuff there. I think we'll put some fire archers over here as well. Just kind of defend this spot. And then I do think that as well, just in case. Because there's not much point spending an economy because it's the last wave. So, yeah. I'm not too worried about this one, to be perfectly honest. Let's go there. And then we could get some ground troops out. Yeah, let's get berserkers out. And uh, yeah, there is a way of controlling, collecting everybody. Yeah, so I'm just collecting those guys now. Whereas before you had this one, which collected everybody. All right, yeah, because that was always a bit of a nightmare. I believe you can switch it as well. So you can pick up a bunch of them, but then just drop off, say, the the melee units here and if you wanted the range of units you could put them somewhere else all right well either way let's get this going i'm just going to keep hold of the two quid whoa those guys jump what the hell okay <laughs> what the heck they jump <laughs> all right that's new they did not do that before i love this game it's so good i say there's a reason it's overwhelmingly positive on steam it's blooming brilliant. Oh, there we go. Now ah, they're going to get pretty wrecked pretty quickly. There we go. Nice. <laughs> they jump in and attack. Interesting. Okay, there we go. Managed to do that one. Gold bonus. Let's go continue and then we get to select another level. Oh boy, uh, ooh, the power tower would be pretty good. The ancient shrines, I'm less bothered about. We might as well take it. Power tower would be good. We got so. Oh my god, that. Oh my god. Look how many enemies are coming? We've got elites. 198 in round three. Jeepers. Wow. Okay. Um. Yeah. Damn. Oh yeah, I definitely don't want to do that. Oh my god. So we get to keep those perks from the last wave, and then we get to continue on again. Um, oh boy. 
Um, as insane as it sounds, I'm tempted to go with this. Hmm. The indestructible mines would be good, but we're probably going to be able to build those. Uh, my worry are the flying units, and then we've got some explodey guys as well. The lightning rod isn't a particularly brilliant weapon. Hmm. Yeah, and we've got six waves. Ah, interesting. Yeah, it tells us six. Okay, that's good. Huh. I kind of want that power tower, but the range resistance would be really handy to have. And obviously the uh, mines... Oh, they have 400% health. Ah, they were indestructible before. Oh, and their in income can never drop below three. Ah, so they were indestructible before, but the uh, income slowly went down. I think it went down to one each turn. I think it started about five, and it went down each round. But now it can never go below three if you have that perk, obviously interesting okay so they're not indestructible anymore got a lot more health but they're not indestructible that's just a lot of enemies that i don't think we can take down easily i don't know on this one it's kind of that one or that one the explodey guys worry me a little bit and then there's a lot of horses the yeah the lightning rod is not going i'm going to go with this one i'm probably going to regret that but yeah all right, let's go with that one. I'm probably going to regret it, but there we go. All right, let's plot that in. So we've got all those guys coming from that way. Right, that's cool. Uh, we've got mines on here, which we are going to use. So that's probably how we're going to buff our economy. Let's go with that one first. I think we've got to put a tower up here to start with. Like so. We've got 10 left. I think I want some like fire arches or something down. Yes, we do have uh, siege engines and stuff coming, don't we? So I think that's probably a good idea. Have we got siege engines on this one? I don't know. Fire Arch is going to be pretty handy anyway, so we're going to go with that. There. Do we just go with a lot of gold? I think we go with gold mines. Let's do that. That'll give us a nice hit to start with. And then I'm going to get out there and do what damage I can to them. Yeah, okay. That's a lot of troops, though, coming this way, isn't it? Let's fire off my special and just start hacking into them. But they should be able to start, yeah, burning them. That's going to be good. Yeah, that's good. That's working well. Just kind of get them to follow me a little bit. Ah, oh, yeah, there we are. We're chewing them up now. That's good. And then we've got a load of those guys right. Where is that coming from? Oh, there we go. I was going to say I didn't get my money then. Oh, right. Well, we got to put a we got to put a wall down because they're just going to um, these little these eight guys are like clockwork knights and they'll just charge straight for my uh, place. So think that. And then I think one more gold mine. And then I might put like some farms or something in. Just to start that economy up there. Really get that going. Let's do that. Do that, do that. And then I might as well put a house in as well. Why not? Get a bit more economy going because we've still got quite a few waves. So we've got 29 coins coming this way. Dang, that's a lot. Dang, man, that's a lot. Right, okay. Let's go. You should be able to just kind of stop you a little bit. There we go. Main concern is the battering ramp, but I think that's going to get melted before we even get close, so... There we go. And obviously that gives me a heal. There we are. There's no way that's 29 coins. Oh, is that my total income? Oh, that might be my total income from everything. Yes, it is. Okay, that's kind of cool. So you can see how much you're going to make next turn. Obviously, you can add more economy into that. Right, I get you. Oh, boy, that's a lot of stuff. Right, I think we've got to upgrade the castle. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go with that, I think. Because the magic armor will deal a bit of damage back. I'll get a load of health, and then I can get some self-healing as well, because I'm kind of getting in there in the fight. So... 
think that's the way to go. And then we're going to get some more archers down. I'm going to get more fire archers. kind of want to do an upgrade on this tower. Just for the why not. So I want to see what the hell's going on. I should. Oh, can you still go through the... I wonder if you can do that. Uh, let's do that. Ah! So you get to choose an upgrade. You only got to do this on the last wave. Interesting. So a sniper tower... Range of the projectile is longer. Attack damage, cooldown is 100%. So yeah, it's going to be a lot slower. We've got an armored tower. When first damage, uh, this tower activates a shield. Protects itself for 5 seconds. Targets at a lower health. Targets the lowest health unit and flying. Ah, and then a bunker tower. So it hasn't got much range. Oh, I see. And then there's a little... So that one's going to have loads of range. That's just kind of a standard upgrade. Targets randoms. Attack cooldowns decrease with each consecutive. Well, I'm going to go armor just because they were pretty cool. So we're going to go with one of those. But nice. I kind of like that change. That's kind of cool. And then I kind of want to just see. Oh, hang on. Yeah, no, that's still the... Oh, hang on. Yeah, that's still the range. I kind of just want to see the sniper tower, to be honest. Yeah, I, I don't know what's good and what's not. Ooh, the towers have changed as well. Nice. Uh, let's get some more troops out. Get just some knights, because they're just fighting these guys. So let's go knights there. And we've got four left. We could get some troops out here as well. We'll just go knights again. They could come over here and just kind of hang at this base here. So I think I'm going to go down here and try and kill these 75 off quick. And then hopefully we can turn and take all these guys out in the north, 125. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, this game's so good, man. So good. Yeah, so I don't know if that's like the Ballista Tower, isn't it, basically? I'm going to kind of ride in there and just do what I can. Yeah, these guys are getting chewed up. Let's kill all these guys off, and then they're going to head up there themselves. Yep, those uh, few knights are del delaying them nicely. Oh, there we go. Sweet. And then we've got catapults coming from this way. So let's grab all of you guys because, yeah, we need to take all of you guys up to this bit here, I think. Yes, let's take you all up to here. I'm going to put that wall in. Uh, yeah, we'll do an upgrade on that. Get some more of that down, get some more of that down. I'm going to throw in a, one of these as well. Why not? Bit of an economy going. Put a tower there. Just to assist. And then we've got these guys coming from this side over here. I think some extra fire archers would be a good call. Let's do that. And then we've got six left. Hmm. Six left. What do we do with six? Hmm. We could upgrade the farm. Yeah, let's upgrade the farm. Why not really get that going? Um, so I think those guys up there should be able to handle that, to be honest. Let's come in and just grab those guys. We'll bring them down here. Yeah, I like that. That's a nice change. That's good. So I think the fire archers and the tower can probably handle that on their own. So I don't want to worry too much about that. Uh, the catapults concern me. On this side... Ooh, but that sniper tower's doing... Wow, that shoots reasonably quick, actually, doesn't it? Shoots pretty quick. Go there and use that for ability and just try and chop up these catapults. There we go. All right, let's head north. Oh, nice, we got him. Yeah, I thought that was the case. And then, oh, we've got a lot of elites coming from all sides now. Interesting. Right, let's do some upgrades. And we'll bring you guys over to this side. 
kind of deal with this one, like so. And then we'll do some upgrades here as well. Do the same again. Just upgrade everybody. There we are. And I'm going to put that row of spikes in as well. And then we'll add, we might as well add one more of those. I think no more economy though, because the last wave will be the last wave. Um, I kind of like, what about the standard tower? Oh, that's just the standard tower from the uh, from the previous update, or the, you know, the original, I guess. <laughs> we'll go with that. Uh, yeah, let's go there. I think just like a couple of sniper towers there. I think I quite like that idea. Probably another sniper tower there. So kind of reach out if that, that level gets breached. And then we'll put some towers here. How was that? Oh, I can't. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to go to the north and defend that. Yeah. I'm going to help them up here defend that because, um, yeah, they're kind of on their own here. And this is where our economy hangs. So, yeah, let's go for that. Oh, dang. Oh, wow, that thing is really rapid fire. Well, I've got power tower, haven't I? Yeah, yeah. That's a good point. I forgot about that. So yeah, the power tower is buffing the um, attack speed of the towers. So yeah. But let's come through. But yeah, we're kind of wrecking that. Alright, that's good. Let's come down this way. See any of that. Oh yeah, that's good. Yoink. Keep forgetting about that. Alright, so it's just a lot of clockwork stuff. Ooh, we've got stuff coming from this way though, haven't we, as well? Do you know what, I kind of want to see, let's put these down. Let's put a bunch of that down. We'll put some of this there, because that will damage everybody as well. I'm going to put that wall in, that'll kind of stop them coming in that way. Do the same here and put a wall in, which should just help a little bit. But I don't think there's too much to worry about. Kind of want to see a level three upgrade, to be honest, just for the why not on the um, towers. Probably a bit of a waste of money, but kind of want to see it. Let's go for it. I'll just give myself more health, I think. There we go. And then let's see. So we can synergize this one. I want to see that. So I've got an archer spire, so that gives 300, it shoots an additional arrow at another enemy, cooldown. I've got a ballistic spire. I've got a fire spire, so that's like the hot oil, and then we've got a healing one. Huh. Interesting. Kind of want to do this ballistic one. Yeah, I don't think we have enough to do it. Let's do that one. I'm going to stand here because I'm just kind of curious to see that thing firing off and see what it does. Uh, we've got nine left. All right. Well, they're going to get stuck there. So let's do that. And we'll just put a standard tower in, I think. And then we'll just hang on to the four quid. I think we're okay. Do you know what? I'm going to put that in just in case. Why not? But I think these guys can handle that. I just want to see this thing firing. So let's do that. Just shooting an extra one. Obviously, I've got the power tower on it as well, so. Yeah, it's kind of like a ballistic tower. There's probably a perfect synergy. Um, I don't know what it is yet, but there's probably a perfect synergy. Ah, these guys are breached. Yeah, these guys are breached, but. Oh, no, they haven't breached. Looked like they had, but they haven't. That's fine. Now, let's go here. Oh, this is not looking good though, is it? Let's go with that though, but the castle upgrade is doing well. Yeah, there we go. That wasn't too bad in the end at all. Nice. Ooh, I didn't get all that money. That sucks. I'm kind of digging this update. I kind of like it. 
it's kind of cool. Ooh, oh my god. Wow, look at all that stuff that's coming. Holy moly. Wow, look at that. One to seven. Yeah, they're not kidding. That's really ramped up the amount of enemies and stuff that are coming at us. I mean, look at that. 120, and then you got 180 spears coming at the end. I don't want to do that level anyway, but... Oof. That's rough. Oh, and then you got those multi-launchers, and... Oh, wow. Oh, boy. It's probably that one or that one, isn't it, really? Uh, what do we get? Uh, it's the archery, so the archers get more range and projectile speed. And then... Uh, oh! Your weapon becomes more powerful every night all the way up to 100% for the final night. Oh, that one did that, but made my other troops weaker. Oh, but I think it was like 150% buff or something. 170 or something that you got. Interesting. Yeah, a lot of these things have changed as well. So just looking at it and going, oh, it's that. Um, no, because things may have changed. Oh, I only have to pay for the first nine. I thought that was 10 as well on the loan. Yeah, a lot of these things have changed. Interesting. Hmm. I think it's probably that one, isn't it? I'm not sure. I don't really know which one to go for. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to call it here because I've got a stream in a few hours, so a little bit up against it today. So I think I'm going to call it a little bit early. Uh, but yeah, I'm kind of digging this update. I really like the changes so far. And uh, we'll see how far we can get in the Eternal Trial. I don't think we're going to get to like, what was it, 18 or something we got to last time? I can't remember the stage we got to, 19? Uh, quite high. I don't think we're going to get that far this time just by the looks of it and the words of the and the patch notes. Seems like that's not going to be a thing that you're going to be able to just survive forever. So yeah, not too sure. But uh, anyway, I think for now, I think that's where we'll call it and we'll end the episode. So if you like the one, please give me a thumbs up, comment your thoughts down below, subscribe for more. I really do appreciate it. Stay safe out there, everyone, and I'll catch you next time.